All right. So this last part of this class, what we'll do is we're going to cover how to take a piece of artwork, just like we've been doing, apply it to a pillow, right? This pillow has got a couple of unique things. It's got a really good, strong texture to it. And it's also obviously a pillow. So it's stuffed with stuff. And it's got to look like it's got a rounded edge, right? It's got to be convex, whatever. You get my idea. So it's got to look like it believable, like it's on something. All right. Pretty easy to do. Uh, kind of fun too. So let's see what we're doing. All right. So here's our image. I'll uh, fill the screen here. You can see it's got really, really good texture. Um, it's stuffed with stuff, right? Uh, it's on a transparent layer already. I literally just took the photo of it. We put a, a path around it and just like the mug, right? Done the same exact way. So I can turn on my background layer. It's white if I wanted. So what I'm going to do, though, is going to go ahead and, and create a uh, drop shadow on this. Because since there is shadow and it shows dimension, you got to make you got to have it believable. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pen tool again. I can go ahead with this one, probably since it's, you know, think of a pillow and you know, maybe it's laying flat and you got a photo of it over it looking at the image once it's done. So if the artwork's selected there and I go to FX, right, come down to my drop shadow, uh, it's going to go ahead and want to do that. So it, that actually doesn't look too bad. The only problem it, to me that I have is this is my height, my, uh, like my light's coming from this side, right, the upper right, like this. Well, I have a drop shadow going out of there. It shouldn't be there. It should mainly be where my dark stuff is, right? Anytime there's a wrinkle, it should have definite stuff in there. So... You can get by with this one, I think, but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, put it underneath my pillow layer, right? And what I'm going to do, hit my B key to get my brush tool. My foreground color is black. That's what I need. So as long as I'm, my layer that I'm going to paint on right now is underneath my image layer of my pillow, I can just get a big uh, soft edge brush, which I have, uh, mouse out over it. My opacity is at 10%. Maybe we'll go to a little bit more, 20 something. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of move a little bit. You know, I'm putting, if you notice what I'm doing is I'm putting some shadow where the darker wrinkles are for sure, right? Put some in here, some here. Move it up, hold my space bar there. And this one. All right. That looks pretty cool. If I think it's too dark, which I do, it's going to remove uh remove it. Re reduce the opacity, see? That's cool. I think that's kind of a believable a better more believable uh kind of thing there. So, I'm going to select my artwork. Now, what we need to do is bring an image in that we're going to work with. So, let's go to the same just like we did the last few times. Go to uh, file menu open. Let's go ahead and get our pillow image and that would be this one home sweet home right so what i want to do same thing grab my tab pull it down and we'll let it go come over to my layers click and drag hit okay zoom out a little bit go to edit menu uh, come down to free transform and the reason it comes in so big, again, is because it's 300 pixels per inch at 14 inches by 14 inches. Uh, and looking at this image, it's say the image itself might be 10 inches-ish by, you know, 8. So it's a lot smaller, right? All right. So we got it in here. Let's go ahead and make it fit. I'm holding my option key to kind of make it move from the center. I can move this guy around a little bit more like that, right? I want to give me some room so I can kind of see the whole thing. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Don't want to get too tight along the edges. Um, although it's okay to get close, but you don't want to be right on it. So if I double click, that looks pretty good. All right. So what I want to do, a couple things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use a balls in the warp tool, right? So if we go up to edit menu, come down to transform and go to warp. Okay. Um, up at the top here, it's set to custom. So Right now, if we started pushing and moving, it would be like it was with the T-shirt design that we just did. But if I come in here and I hit the bulge, it's going to automatically go up like that, up and down, right? So obviously it's too much. But if I click on it and pull it down some and do like that and go ahead and set it, uh, 
it looks a little bit better, right? Um, what I think, though, is I think we can keep working it and massaging it and making it really good. So that looks pretty good. Uh, so let's go into liquefy now. We're going to go to filter menu, liquefy. All right, and here we go. So same thing. I want to make sure my show backdrop is turned on, right? Otherwise, we won't know where the wrinkles are in our pillow. So with my pillows here, um, I can see my, shot, my shadows and whatnot. So what I want to do now is just kind of look around at the edge. So I want to make sure that the edges look like they're falling or distorted because they're moving over something, right? So if I come over here and just kind of click and push a little bit, just like that, right? And do the same thing over here and do the same thing here, right? And I'm going to come down and kind of push around on, my, uh, on this stuff here at the bottom. I kind of want to just make sure it's, you know, you want to make sure you, you, you move so it looks like it's all the way around and not just jamming up on one little thing there. So I'm going to do this, push it in there here a little bit. And I'm going to make it larger here. I'm going to kind of make it just real subtle. Make this one smaller, kind of come in like that. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. I can turn on and off my preview checkbox. As you can see, we didn't do a lot. We just sort of did a little bit here and there. Um, and after, the more you work with this and the more used to you get, uh, you know, used to this, you get, it's, you can kind of guesstimate where you're okay. So that looks pretty good. Right. Uh, take a look and see again. All right. We're going to zoom out again. We're going to do one more filter. So with my artwork layer there, I'm going to filter menu. Let's come down to distort and go to spherize. Okay. Now this one, you know, the size of this pillow is really big, so I'm just going to leave it all the way at 100. Remember, we can always kind of come back, reduce things, make it smaller, but I'm going to leave it like this. So if I move this slider, you see what it's doing, right? Um, just looking at this little mesh over here is what it's doing. I can even go make it concave, make it go in, not what we want to do for this image. So I'm just going to go all the way out. I want it to be like one big ball looking thing. So I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to do that. So it looks pretty cool, way too big, no problemo. Go to edit menu, we come down to free transform, right? I like to hold it from my option key, we're gonna make it smaller like this. And then now we gotta make sure it fits in the pillow all the way around. That looks pretty good, we'll go ahead and set it. Now you can see it's got a couple things going. Um, it's getting better and I wanna, I think what I wanna do is I wanna push it a little bit more. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Take a look. Yep. All right. So now I'm going to go back to liquefy. Filter, liquefy. Remember, we're only going to move small amounts. Come this way with that one. Go this way with this one. Come this way with that. And what that's going to do is it's going to look like it's on that wrinkle, right? Um, down here, too. Let's go ahead and make them a little bit bigger. You just kind of want to smush them up so it looks like it's going around that pillow itself. All right, we'll do the same thing here. Make my brush a little bit bigger, smaller now. Over here. Almost. All right. I think that looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and hit OK. So we're almost done, right? Zoom in a little bit more. I like it. I think it looks like it fits. Um, take a look at this thing here. It looks like it's on these wrinkles really believably. I'll, I'm digging it. This little wrinkle right here kind of kicks in. All right. We're, we're just about there. So now. What I want to do though is take this normal mode. We're going to switch it to multiply like we did before. It gets a little bit darker, and that's all right. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the image menu, adjustments, go to hue saturation, and we'll go ahead and saturate it up a little bit more, right? That looks cool. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and command click on my artwork layer. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, right? By uh, just clicking on my new layer icon, put it on top. 
Now, all my marching ants are going on. So if I go to my view menu, right, and I want to get rid of those extras, right, that's what my marching ants are. Hit my B key, got my black foreground color, soft edge brush. Uh, I'm going to lower opacity a little bit more. And what I want to do is just kind of put in some shadows where the shadows are. So we'll just kind of paint in a few shadows here. Move this up a little bit. Just sort of go around the bottom like this. One here, a little bit there. Right? Uh, and like that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. If I go back over to my um, my pillow... If I think it's a little bit too dark, it's on, on a borderline for me, right? So what I can do is go to Image Adjustments, Levels, come over here, maybe grab my highlight slot side, push it up a little. I don't want to go too far. I don't want to make it desaturated on my uh, on my art. See that? I want to make sure my art stays saturated, but I just get a little bit more highlight in there. Turn on on and off that preview like that. Right, hit OK. That looks cool to me. Totally believable. I dig it. Anyway, so um, that's it. That's how you save this. You can turn the background off if you want. Maybe as a transparent background, save it as a PNG. Send them to that customer. I hope you learned something in this class. I sure enjoyed doing it. See you next time.